Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I've got some exciting news for you in regards to hydrogen storage and what might be coming to the market in the very near future. To get off grid with solar and batteries, you need to be able to generate energy when the sun's out and store it for when it's not. Right now, people are able to do this with lithium ion batteries. The Tesla Powerwall 2 is a perfect example, but an Australian company named Lavo has built a rather unique cabinet that can sit on the side of your house, just like a Tesla Powerwall, but stores your excess solar energy as hydrogen. Now, before I dive into this exciting new product, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And for those of you that live in our area of Southern California that haven't gone solar, because I know you're still out there, visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote customized to your exact needs and at an incredible price. We have some great promotions going on, so use that link in the description below. The Lavo Green Energy Storage measures 66 by 49 by roughly 16 inches and weighs, all right, I hope you're ready for this, a hefty 714 pounds, making it very unlikely to be pocketed by a thief if it's installed on the side of your house. Now, you connect to it, or we would connect to it, via a hybrid solar inverter, much like the Q-Cells Q-Home Hybrid G1 or Solar Edge's 7.6 Energy Hub. Now, sidebar, I'm not saying either of these products work with this particular hydrogen storage system. I'm just giving you a comparison to the type of inverter it would use. Once you have the unit connected to the hybrid solar inverter, it also needs to be connected to a water spigot. And that's it. The system will use excess solar energy to electrolyze the water, releasing oxygen, and storing the hydrogen in a patented metal hydride or a sponge sponge at a pressure of 30 bar now if you're not an engineer 30 bar is 435 psi the system can store roughly 40 kilowatt hours worth of energy that's a lot it's three times as much as tesla's current powerwall 2 and enough to run an average home for two days without solar energy now, the system isn't 100% without lithium ion battery. In fact, the unit has one small five kilowatt hour buffer battery for instantaneous response for large loads. It's pretty ingenious. There's of course Wi-Fi connectivity and a phone app for monitoring and controlling the device. At this time, the unit is not available within the United States and is being sold in Australia. The company does expect to release the product internationally, so at least here in the United States, by Q4 of 2022. Lavo has provided some preliminary pricing on the unit, which I'm pretty excited to share with you because they expect to ship each product at $26,900 US dollars, which is significantly more than a single power wall too. Trust me, I understand that, but if you look at the storage capacity, it's actually very attractive for that price per kilowatt hour because you would literally need three power walls to have the same amount of storage capacity. But that's not all. Lavo hopes by the time they release it in Q4 of 2022 that the price will be closer to 22,000 US dollars, which if they are able to achieve this price point, it'll be tough for homeowners not to at least consider it if they're looking for battery backup or battery storage. Now, pulling the cover off reveals a surprise because they actually gave us photos or they shared photos of the inside of the unit. So the 40 kilowatt hours worth of hydrogen is kept in these four small red containers on the left. Yeah, you see those things over there on that image? And the rest of this big cabinet is taken up with the battery, electrolyzer, and fuel cell stack. So. That's everything you need right in this cabinet. An obvious question we should all be asking ourselves, how is it better than today's home batteries? Well, Labo says the key components should last much longer than lithium ion battery systems, up to 30 years instead of maybe 12 to 15 from your standard lithium setup. 
There are also no toxic chemicals to dispose of after the unit expires. And the company says that even though it's a bit of a beast, a single Lavo system is more compact than the equivalent amount of battery storage systems. Yeah, so for those of you that have an LG Chem system paired up with SolarEdge, you would understand how big those batteries are and how much space they take up and all the additional components needed. Same with the Tesla Powerwall and many other battery solutions. I think it's safe to say that we all can agree this thing is better than lithium ion batteries, but nothing is perfect, so we have to ask, how is it worse? Well, the safety aspect is certainly open to debate. A lot of people argue about hydrogen on this. Labo says if a leak occurred, it would rise and disperse so quickly that there's little chance of a fire or explosion and that hydrogen is inherently no more dangerous than other conventional fuels such as gasoline or natural gas. But then there's the efficiency of hydrogen. Batteries store and release energy with minimal losses. For every kilowatt hour you produce from your solar array that gets put into your battery, you're pretty much getting about 90% of it back. So consider this your round trip efficiency, solar to battery, battery back to energy. But the process of generating hydrogen by electrolyse using a proton exchange membrane is only about 80% efficient. So you're losing 20% straight away. So that was just converting the solar energy into hydrogen. And at the other end, you'll lose somewhere around half of what you've got stored in the process of converting the hydrogen back into energy through the fuel cell. So you are looking at around a 50% round trip efficiency, which this isn't new knowledge for hydrogen. This has been one of the biggest disadvantages to these types of systems because it takes more energy to fill up and you get about half of it back. A 40 kilowatt hour hydrogen energy storage system starts looking more like a 20 kilowatt hour storage system. Though Labo says this system's round trip efficiency is well above 50%, so taking them at their word, yeah, yeah. This is in its early days, and hydrogen is the hottest topic on the energy sector right now, or in the energy sector. It's not unrealistic to think home storage units might start making sense at some point down the road, but Lavo will likely find this robust unit tough to sell next to a Tesla Powerwall or other battery systems for that matter. I have to give them credit where credit is due because the Lavo Hydrogen Energy Storage System design looks terrific compared to many of the other products out there. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay informed on the future of renewable energy. It's an exciting place right now and there's so much innovation going on, you're not gonna wanna miss out. So click the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. And let's not forget, if you are someone that lives in our area, Southern California, and you're still contemplating going solar, now is a perfect time. The federal government extended the 26% tax credit. Yes, Congress extended that tax credit in December. So you got two years to go solar and save 26%. Don't wait until the last minute. It's not smart to do that. Do it now, we have some great promotions going on, so use the link in the description below to receive your hassle-free quote. Thanks for watching, until next time.